Hello everyone. I'm gonna be doing a makeup video today Which is why I'm sitting here with no makeup on and my face significantly paler than my body But I feel like everyone recently okay not everyone I'm not that special but a lot of people recently have been asking me for an updated makeup routine I was gonna do it on TikTok, but I just like YouTube better so here I am. I posted makeup videos in the past, but I feel like I just change what products I like. And honestly, I feel like right now I'm like the most happy I am with my makeup routine in terms of it takes me like 12 minutes to do. That's so specific, but like less than 15 minutes, more than 10 minutes. It takes me no time at all to do. And I think it looks good. And I think it looks very like natural and smooth. It doesn't look like I'm wearing a lot of makeup. So I thought I would just do like a get ready with me style because I'm not a makeup artist. So I don't really know like the technique and stuff and like what to tell you how to do it. I'm just gonna show you what I do as we talk and get ready. I have nowhere to be. I'm just literally getting ready for this video. But this is the makeup I do whenever I am doing anything during the day. Sorry, I'm already not telling you what I'm doing. First thing I do is put on my La Roche-Posay SPF. I put on SPF every day because I used to not do this. And then I saw that, you guys have probably seen it. They did like um, a study on identical twins and one of them wore sunscreen and one of them didn't. And like one of them skin was like significantly better. And ever since I've seen that, I started wearing it every day, even though it's overcast and cloudy out today and I don't even have plans to leave my house. But yeah, as I was saying, this is the makeup I usually do on a day-to-day -day basis when I do like whatever my little tasks are. Um, so this is the True Match Lumi Glotion by L'Oreal in the shade Deep Glow. I love this. I either use this or the Drunk Elephant bronzing drops. They're kind of the same to me. Then I mix it with the shade Light Glow, the same thing. This just makes the base like super glowy and nice. I do this like every day just because I like the process of getting ready. Okay, I don't do it every day. That is definitely a stretch. But I'd say like four days a week, I do my makeup and it's because I genuinely enjoy like sitting here at my desk and playing music and getting ready. And I think since moving to Charleston too, because I go out every day, not out, but like I go to a cafe or I go on a walk. I just like really like the act of like getting ready and then like going outside and feeling confident. Not that I don't feel confident without makeup, but like, you know what I mean? I just feel like put together. I don't know what the right word is because I feel fine without makeup, but okay, so that just matched my face to my body, which is what we needed. Next thing I do, which I don't always do this, but if I'm feeling crazy, I use the like any liquid highlighter. This is the Glow and Do It by Soap and Glory, and it's like an insane highlighter. And yes, I'm gonna rub it on my face because <laughs> there's nothing left for me to like suck out with the dropper, but I just put that right there on my cheekbones and then I rub it in. I put this on under because it is so intense. That's kind of like my base before I do anything. And then I don't use foundation. I just use this Kosas concealer. I'm in the shade 4.5 N and I put this on any like redness or spots around my nose that gets super red and like under here for some reason I get like red patches. So I kind of just put this everywhere besides under my eyes. And this is like an exact skin tone match. You can probably not even see where I'm putting it because it is I like almost identical to my skin tone, which is amazing. And then I take a brush. This is a flat head brush. I don't know from Tarte and I kind of just like blend it out everywhere. This is just how I like even out my skin tone. Um, rather than using a foundation, I feel like this is just like lighter and easier. I've been doing this makeup a lot and it's also so easy to transition to like nighttime makeup. I end up just adding like eyeliner and maybe like powder bronzer or something. And then I'm like, oh, ready for the night. I take the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter in the shade Deep 7 and I put that in like contour spots and I blend with my beauty blender. This is kind of just how I cream contour, even though it's like literally not what that's for at all. But I feel like it makes it so much more natural because it is meant to be like a primer, I think. <laughs> it's like a base. It's not supposed to be a contour. But I just love how like subtle it is. And then I'm taking the Hourglass Vanish Concealer in the shade Sepia. And this is what I use under my eyes. This is my holy grail. This is like the one product I swear by. And I don't think anything will ever compare. I usually am like not picky about makeup. Like I just use drugstore stuff a lot of the time. But this really made me learn the difference. Then I use the Hourglass Concealer Brush, I think. And I just brush that in under my eyes. And it's just the best under eye concealer I've ever used. It just covers up my dark circles so much. I have like pretty defined like creases under my eyes and it covers them and it doesn't crease as long as you like set it, which we will. And then right after I do that, before it creases, I take this like triangular powder puff and then I use this Huda Beauty powder. I don't know what shade it is. 
in pound cake and I pack it in under my eyes a little bit. The powder step is where I always ruin everything because powder like makes your face look like you have makeup on. So I used to put powder all over my face and now I literally just put it under my eyes. And then when I blend it out, I just blend it all over, but I don't focus it anywhere else. Okay, now for my nose. Nose contour is always a key part of my routine. If you guys know, I've talked about it a million times. I feel like it changes my face. Also recently, people have been telling me or commenting and saying I've gotten a nose job which I haven't, but thank you. Um, it's probably for my contour because my contour makes my nose look completely different. I take this Tarte Sculpt Tape. Oh, one second. <laughs> my friend's FaceTiming me. I just got off FaceTime. My friend FaceTimed me and I had to answer. So, sorry. But I blended out my nose, but I basically just took a line here, a line there like you saw, and then I tap it with my finger until it's blended in. And then I take the remnants and I go over the bridge of my nose like that. Very key step, but I used to skip, but now I'm very passionate about. I'm gonna use, I use a different one like every single day. This is the Glossier Cloud Paint in the shade Storm. And I just do like two little dots on each side. And then I take the back end of my beauty blender and then I blend that all over my cheekbone. I feel like I look at pictures of myself when I used to not wear blush and I can actually see the difference so much. Like I feel like it makes me look so much more alive. But I used to think it like didn't make a difference. Then I just kind of like tap it in whatever, like blend it with this brush. This brush is kind of like my, what I use for everything. <laughs> yeah, there's that. Then highlighter. This Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand in the shade Spotlight is like the best liquid highlighter ever, but it is kind of hard to blend. So you have to like put it on right away and then blend with your fingers. I feel like mine just doesn't blend well for some reason. It like dries down really quickly, but I put it under my eyebrow and then in kind of a C shape right there. And it looks so good and glowy. I'll put it on top of my lip, tip of my nose. Okay, next I'm gonna take a spoolie and just brush out my eyebrows, get any of the product. In them out of them then i use the nyx micro brow pencil in the shade ash brown this is my favorite brow pencil because i feel like it works just as well as any of the expensive ones and i have a scar through my eyebrow so i just fill that in i feel like i go in with like a lighter hand on my eyebrows than i used to especially with this look i just fill in my scar and i don't touch the front at all um and then this side i just kind of like try to make them even because this one's like thinner then i'm going to use the milk clear brow gel this is what i've been using recently it's really light it's not like stiff i used to use the brow glue by nyx and it made my eyebrows kind of like crunchy like i used to love it and then i think over time i just like i don't know i kind of like a more natural thing now i usually use a setting spray i just finished my charlotte tilbury airbrush one so i'm going to use the mac fix plus just because this is all i have right now but spray my whole face let it dry down a little bit but before it's fully dry i take this freckle pen i literally got it on amazon i think it's on my storefront i have no idea what it's called and i do like little freckles on my nose while my face is still wet because it makes them easy to just tap and blend out with my finger and i just do a few i don't want it to be like too much if i get close can you see how subtle that is and then i'll take it and i'll go like over here and do a few dots i feel like it makes it look more natural to have freckles in other places and not just like right on your nose then I take a brown eyeliner. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Gel Liner. And I just do a little baby wing. Like I just kind of messily drag out my lash line. It makes a wing, but it's not as like defined and intense as doing like a gel liner or like black eyeliner. And I just like the way it makes my eye shape look. See how that just kind of changed like the shape of my eye. Also darkened it up a bit. Then I'm just going to take a random eyeshadow brush and then a random powder bronzer from this random palette and i go over my eyelid so it's kind of like a little shadow and i do a little bit underneath where's my lash curler this is just like a random drugstore a lash curler that i got in like high school and i just curl my lashes as normal recently a lot of people have been complimenting my eyelashes which is always nice someone in public literally yesterday asked me what eyelashes i was wearing and i wasn't even wearing any fake eyelashes which is like the best compliment ever can't take credit for it though i've been using this lash serum it's the obaji medical eyelash enhancing serum i put it on every night before bed i also changed with the mascara i've been using so maybe that's what's helping using the Too faced better than sex foreplay this is like a mascara primer which I've never used before and honestly this is like dark so it gives you like volume and color and like I feel like it's low-key just like a regular mascara um but you're supposed to use this first and sometimes I'll do this whole look and then do no mascara and then it like is giving a no makeup makeup routine which I also like the look of and is also a go-to in the summer and I let that dry down a little bit then I take, I use three mascaras, so. Then I use the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I've never really used these before, but they did kindly send me them, so I've been using them. I coat my lashes in this. I don't really love the wand on this as much as, like, the next mascara I'm gonna use. I do get it all over my lid, but then I'm gonna wipe it off, but that's what it looks like. Then, to kind of lengthen and, like, get some of the clumps out, I use the Lancome Idol Lash 
La ma mascara i don't know if that's how you say it but i love the wand on this it's very easy to like separate my lashes with and i go from the back and like coat the tips of my eyelashes to make it like long i don't know how to explain it i feel like my technique though is what makes my eyelashes look good but i don't know how to explain it i just like go from behind my eyelashes and pull down and then up okay once i'm done with that and it's literally all over my lid i just take a q-tip and go all over my lid like that <laughs> if my lid looks looks too dark like i feel like it just kind of looks like my eyes are really dark and i don't love that as much i'll use a white eyeliner on my bottom lash line just like opened your eyes up a little bit i have this glossier lid star in the shade bun it's just like this gold liquid eyeshadow i'll kind of just do a little swipe on my lid try not to get it on your lashes and i'll take a brush like this like a little flathead one and kind of just like blend it all over my lid i feel like it just brightens up my eye try not to ruin the brown eyeliner though then for bottom mascara i'll just take I don't know any of them and do a little bit like I literally just like tap my lashes a few times I don't want it to be like too dark or like too defined. Okay for lips, which is like the best part I just like literally wipe off <laughs> Whatever's on my lips. Sometimes I'll use this Sarah hop lip scrub in vanilla bean It's just a sugar scrub. Actually, I'll use a little bit right now even though my lips aren't really chapped or anything But I love this stuff. It just really exfoliates it. So then I have a clean blank canvas for my lips i've been using this hourglass shaped and sculpt liner in the shade expose which i think is the lightest shade they have it's so natural it's like the exact same color as my lips i kind of overdraw my cupid's bow a little bit too and then i'll take just a little bit of this refi lip liner in the shade fawn this is like really long lasting and i just go over my cupid's bow a little bit and blend it this is the hourglass what are these called glossy bomb in the shade 100 which is just like a nude almost clear gloss and it also has plumper in it speaking of plumper sometimes too i'm gonna do it today i go in with the Too faced lip injection and i go over that it really makes your lips look good oh my god my hair is a mess from having it in that ponytail i need to like go in better lighting because this mirror is like blocking it that is like my everyday natural makeup routine i hope you enjoyed super easy and literally that took me i've been only filming for 17 minutes and i had a whole intro so so it obviously it does not take very long but yeah thank you so much for watching today's video hope you liked it if you try it out or if you're just getting ready with me hope you had fun that's all for today's video if you want to follow me on my other social medias they're all linked down below as always and i'll see you in my next video very very soon bye